invite Naveen, founder of Green Honchos. Please come on the stage. Welcome. Please join me on stage, uh, Kavya Mansi. Please. So I'll just introduce uh, Mansi has been kind enough to fill in. Uh, Mansi is uh, head of marketing and uh, D2C at uh, TCNS Clothing, and which has brands like W or Elia. Uh, you know, Kavya, another friend, uh, owns the brand Femela, uh, the women Western wear brand. So thank you for coming here. Uh, we just want to share some of our thoughts on scaling D2C brands, what we are seeing. Um, you've built a brand over a long term, largely from a time where marketplaces was what D2C e-commerce or online was. Um, <clears throat> what has been the change and the transition you've seen uh, in that D2C journey for the brand as Femela? Well, well I think for... Hi. So I think for us, what we've seen is that um, focus on direct to consumer came when, we, you know, marketplaces started to become unreasonable with the, with the margins or, or, or the way they were handling the business or the way they were handling scaling up the business, you know. And so for, for us, it was like, okay, let's start looking at our own ecosystem. So let's, let's start creating our own ecosystem. And what we see is now compared to when we started is lot more enablers, lot more content, lot more uh, agencies to take it ahead. And I think now from launching a website to launching, you know, getting your uh, payment gateways going, I think you can kickstart your website sales in about 48 hours, right? Earlier it was, I think it would take about three to four months. Sure. You know, the whole process of getting a payment gateway only would take a month. So I think that and more and more agencies coming in from photo shoot to, you know, guys like Ship Rocket, Picker, you know, making it easier for brands like us to go, go scale up. Um, earlier, you know, getting guys, courier companies to come in just to pitch to you and telling them my volumes would be five or 10 per day, if they were not interested. And now that barrier has been broken completely. And a very insightful views uh, over the course of time. I think as enablers, it's, it's nice to hear that we are, we are trying to help democratize that entire, uh, you know, enablement journey for brands like yours, because we only sit behind what the brand can do. Uh, Mansi, just your views on just that D2C shift and what you've seen basis your experience, just more on the same question. Yeah. So for, I think for TCNS clothing, it has been very important, like, you know, that we partner with the right partners. Um, like, you know, we have a saying in-house that hame dhanda, matab, like, hame kapda banana aata hai. But like, you know, we are very highly dependent on the right partners and choosing them at the right point of time when you're growing. So I think uh, we have been very fortunate of having like, like, you know, partners who've been our long term. So I think uh, that is very important uh, to have like, you know, uh, a good partnership who you are dependent on, on how to actually grow. So I think that is my take. I think, uh, you know, we, we were internally discussing uh, about, you know, the first party data or, the, you know, the entire experience of the customer and being able to own the customer over time. I think that's what a lot of D2C brands have been able to really see the value through. Uh, so, you know, you could continue with that from a TCNS perspective. Uh, how are you looking at that? Because TCNS obviously is a offline heavy brand. It also does significantly well at marketplaces. Uh, some of them are not owned channels, uh, what's the journey there? So obviously with marketplaces, you do not have access to your complete data. So it is very important that when you're actually growing a brand, you have the complete access to your complete first uh, customer data. So I think from that perspective, plus at the end, same time, like, you know, you cannot be just dependent on Pixel. So how do you actually get that complete data so that, you know, you can create that audience segment and, you know, um, lead to the next bit, which is your retention, which I think Bigzo has also done. Uh, you guys are like, you know, Green Hunters is uh, like, you know, doing really well. So how do you actually say that, okay, how do you uh, like, you know, use the first customer data and then plug it into the retention piece? So sure. that's my... Kavya, your thoughts on first party data, how you've been able to look at it over time? Uh, so I think um, when we're looking at first party data of our own website, We've been able to make our product better. We've been able to get, do better customer service, 
we know who our customer is. You know, talking about marketplace sales, we're not able to kind of understand, as Mansi said, get the first first party data. But I think what we've been able to do is take the product data and customer is the same. You know, customer is going to your website, is going to a marketplace, your your TG is same. If you can put your TG same and you can take the the marketplace data for the product data, what you what you're selling, I think you can do uh, you know your, your your outcome can be much better. And I think over the time, what we've seen is with 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 the likes of Mintra, you know, they're opening up their partner insights slowly and steadily. You know, I think it's going to get better on from here. But uh, but yeah, I think at at Femela, I think one thing what we're doing is we're creating a full fledged data team. Got so it. I think. Uh, I think more than the marketing team, I think our aim is to create a, a team of about 10 to 15 data analysts sure. to, to kind of make sure that we take a look at data from return to sales to product, where we are, what we are selling, at what time, at what region of the country. Sure. So that helps us plan better for the future. Right. Just a follow on question on that, product market fit. Uh, you were mentioning how, you know, for Famela, over time you've been able to figure out what are the right channels to sell on. What makes sense? What is that process? How do you guys go about it? What comes into the mind of a brand owner there? I think if I go back to about 12, 12 or 2012 or 13, when the Leo of marketplaces were going live, you know, from Snapdeal to Vunik to Lime Road, you know, idea was to let's get live everywhere, right? But over the span of time, it made you realize your customer is not there, you know, and it's 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 okay it's okay to be not on a play marketplace where you know other 10 brands are you know it's okay to not be there it's you know and only focus on unit economics of marketplaces where you know your tg is coming so hence we have taken a call of getting off marketplaces like amazon flipkart vune small small tail as well and focusing on fashion oriented marketplaces going ahead that's an interesting take uh I probably just last question for uh, towards you. Uh, more on the personalization, customer acquisition cost side. Uh, I know it's an area of your interest as uh, a marketing person or a marketeer as well for the brand. Uh, I've just realized that uh, on the panel we've got representation from women Western wear and women ethnic wear. Personalization towards CAC. Uh, please share your thoughts for the group here. So I feel uh, very strongly that uh, this is going to be the next big thing to actually grow a brand. Like, you know, like how do you actually personalize the complete journey for a brand on any of the DTC? Like specifically DTC, we, I'm talking about because we are here over, like, you know, to discuss that. So um, how do you actually personalize the complete journey? How do you ensure that what the customer is seeing is relevant? It's not just like, you know, your generic... Uh, you know, result that you are throwing actually. Moreover, like, you know, how do you actually try to use the same, uh, you know, uh, uh, like, you know, coming back to the first customer data and trying to see that, okay, how can you plug in to say that, okay, uh, can there be, uh, there be innovations as to what kind of, like, you know, product or what kind of uh, result or how to get him back to your site. So I think that is going to be very important. Uh, that's my at least take. Thank you so much. I think we're up for time uh, for the next one. It's, it's great you to guys. have you both here. Uh, and, and it's brands like you guys that made us do a good job. Thank you. Thank you.